upande wa kanisa wachungaji your excellency the deputy president of the republic of kenya the honorable gadi gashagwa your excellency the second lady kama vile tumefunzwa na mwalimu pastor dr reverend si mwalimu ni makia hiyo mtihani najua hii ya excellency the second lady kwa nini unasikia watu wakiremewa na hiyo maneno watu hawataka kujipata na ile shida ilipata mtu mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Matere Kelili na watu wa Nyeri mnaelewa hiyo shida so ukisikia watu wanatapatapa hivyo ni kwa sababu Matere Kelili alifanya mistake kama hiyo akajipata pale pabaya wakati waenzi ya mheshimiwa Mwai Kibaki na gavana wa Nyeri mheshimiwa eh, mwalimu Kahira senator Mwisimu wa ndeto na wabunge wote bwana DIG uh, bwana Kanja na waombelezaji wote God is good I know the time nimekuja pia kuleta rambi la, rambi zangu na za familia yangu kwa sababu huyu kingoli hakuwa tu rafiki yangu alikuwa pia rafiki ya familia yangu I come from a family where I have quite a number of siblings who are in the police service and so Kenori has been part of our family it was very interesting because mtu kama mimi ambao niko na siblings kwa police lakini wakati wa ile serikali ingine i also had the record ya yule mtu alishikwa na police mara mingi so i am also part of that police family in different ways eh yeah. Kwa hivyo tuko hapa sababu huu jamaa alikuwa mngwana sana. Kimoli was a very passionate man, a very 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 committed man. And you know in the year 2002 wakati tulikuwa tunafanya campaign mimi nilikuwa naunga mkono Mwai Kibaki. And this man took a risk despite being in the police service. Tulikuwa na kwa secretariat ya mheshimiwa Mwai Kibaki tukaenda kwa hiyo uteuzi na tukashinda tukashinda akina deputy president hapa na ile timu ya kanu ambayo ilikuweko tukawanyonyosha vizuri sana na mwangi kingoli hata wakati wa 2007 pia tukafanya kazi na yeye kwa kampeni ya Mwai Kibaki mwaka 2010 vile bwana Kanja amesema tukue kule naivasha kuuda katiba mpya Mwangi Kingoli is the one who was working with me I was head of that thing tank ya Mwai Kibaki ambaye alikuwa anaongoza maneno ya katiba and I remember that time kuna mtu alikuwa amejaribu kuleta proposal adhiki ni watu wa ODM ya kwamba tukue na na inspector general wa national police service na ingine ya AP na Mwangi Kingoli alikasirika sana na hiyo maneno akakuja tukaenda kwa Mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta tukashirikiana na tukasema hatuwezi kugawanya the police service and that is how we are we got one unified inspector general for for the entire police service mwangi kingoli unajua as i said ni narobi wakati wa maombolezi kila wakati kama kuna jambo anaona ilikuwa inaenda mbaya he was speaking his mind all the time na i was that unfortunate man wakati wa kibaki ananipigia simu ananiambia hii serikali yenu wakati wa uhuru ananipigia simu hii serikali yenu na hata hii serikali iko bado alikuwa ananipigia simu kuniambia hiyo serikali yenu sijui kwa nani alikuwa amemwambia kingoli serikali ni Moses Kuria kwa sababu huyo miaka yote mambo kama anaona haiendi mzuri simu ya kwanza kupiga ilikuwa ni yangu kwa hiyo yangu ni kuomba Mungu amweke pale pema huko peponi na tutapatana tena mi najua mwangi ako pahali pema pia niseme sababu DIG uko hapa tumesema na nashukuru mheshimiwa makamu wa rais sababu hata juzi tulifanya mkutano facilitated by his office for the independent commission hiyo national police service commission ambao mwangi kingoli aliweka kwa katiba it is now a constitutional reality The office of the inspector general is a constitutional reality. 
the office of the independent police oversight authority is a constitutional reality. It is not whether 